So as you can see, these headsets, <clears throat> I've had them for a while, a long while. <clears throat> Can't do anything about this, but I could replace the cushions. And that's what I'm looking to do. I used them a lot. I haven't used them probably in a year or so, but I recently picked them up again to use them again. I use them, I like to use them. Um, even as external speakers, they're pretty loud, loud enough so that I can hear it, but nobody else hears uh, the TV while I'm watching it. Um, and that's usually what I use it for, is to connect to my Bluetooth TV. Uh, these are uh, Bose Quiet Comfort, I believe. So if you have these specific ones, because that was the problem I was having, I couldn't remember exactly the brand, but I saw in the pictures, um, headsets like these, so I assumed that these would fit, that the head, the uh, ear pads would fit just fine to replace them with. So if you have these, and it looks like this. And these ear pads work for replacement. You as well can have them. Re you can also as well replace them. I think they still cost about the same. These have been through a lot. <clears throat> you put them on, then you just take, you rip them off your head, and you just throw them to the side, and uh, sometimes they hit the floor and things like that, but they've been working very well for a very long time. So, uh, I'm very happy with these. So if you have these, with these things on the side, Probably the new set to use USB-C. I think this is micro USB. Okay, so if you have these headsets and you want to replace the pads, then uh, you can buy the ones that I purchased or buy another set. The uh, My whole biggest thing was finding I think they're 35s, I'm not sure, the headsets I have. I just know that these fit. I bought the black for obvious reasons. I didn't think the gray would uh, be good for us. Sticky. I believe this will be used to remove and apply the replacement. I don't know why 
I'm going to need this, but I guess we'll figure it out. This is a, a left, this is the right. And uh, this is the right over here, so let me put this on. Let's see. Left, left, right, right. Okay, according to the instructions, uh, what I'll need to do is uh, take apart, remove the old dust proof scrim. think that's going to work for me. So I'm just going to try to remove it. Okay. Oh, it came off pretty easy. Okay. That needs to be cleaned. And this is the right. at the edges here just like this now oh, what a difference between the old one and the new one Gotta get them under this edge here. This is a tool they gave me. It's not. After working it, just continuously work. It took me a while. I kept trying, trying. It finally got in. I just. You just keep working it, working it, working it, and you'll get it in. Let me try the other side and see if I could do it on video. So you take it out and it has, it just comes out of this. Oh, this one came out the hole. Uh, oh, this one, this just, this just broke off. Okay, so I'm 
have to get it out from under here. There it is. There's these notches here. You kind of got to get it under there, but you just got to keep working it. Try to get it away from the notches themselves. Get out of the way. Okay. We have to that has to come over here and I gotta get it just under the notch and kind of just work it. So now just keep fitting it in, like just like that, keep doing that completely around, and I just work it until it sticks, I don't know, it's, uh, I guess that's, if you heard a click, just keep working it, working it, as you can see it's still not in, just gotta keep working it till you get it. to kind of you just keep working it's the weirdest thing I don't know why it's not fitting in it just takes me a while and uh, okay this side got in nice Okay, there goes another click. There goes another click. I don't know if you're hearing the clicks. Let me use this. Again, I'm just working it. I'm trying to get it in there. It clicked into sp into. Okay, you see it's in there. It got underneath. You can see the little clip there. You just got to get them around all the clips. And I think I got it. It just took some work. <laughs> Uh, this one needs to be put in, okay, as you can see, so, 
There we go. See that? It went right in. Uh, no, according to the instructional video for these things, it was the person did a lot easier. But yep, it's right there. See? Okay, it's in there. All right. So I think it's good. All right, it's good. Go for them in. It, like I said, you gotta work it. You gotta just keep working until you get them all underneath the little clicky thing, uh, the little tab. You'll hear the snap, the little click on them. And uh, that's it, replacement. Cool. Nice new set, brand new set of headsets now. I just put them on. They feel just as comfortable as the old ones. As you can see, like I said, it's they've been through a lot. All right. I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, ask me any questions below. I usually answer within a day or two. Bye now. Oh, and I have no idea why this is in there, so... I guess I'll keep this for an actual LCD. Uh, but this came in handy, getting to the edges, kind of just pushing down as I'm holding it down to just get it underneath the tab. All right, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye now.